all of you welcome to the course uh, introduction to the intrusion detection and prevention systems basically the title that we have mentioned here is intrusion detection and prevention system basically it is not an int introductory uh, level of uh, subject however we will see from the introduction to the uh, higher level of the topic in which uh, we will discuss uh, uh, various wide variety of uh, intrusion detection and prevention systems methods protocols softwares and what what not uh, that can be used uh, for uh, preventing the computer networks uh, and uh, internet systems so myself uh, dr p raghuvamsi i am currently working as assistant professor in the department of computer science and engineering so previously i have handled many subjects related to the computer networks internet security cyber security ethical hacking and uh, many of the security related subjects so in this subject uh, in this course especially i am going to focus on the uh, the intrusion detection and prevention systems and especially related to the uh, configuring of the software how to uh, use that particular uh, software for the intrusion detection and prevention and these kind of things we are going to see in this uh, subject the course prerequisites are uh, the basic knowledge on operating systems basic knowledge on computer networks basic knowledge on programming so apart from this uh, the main prerequisite is uh, motivation to learn and practice so i am going to explain this course uh, uh, to by considering that uh, you don't have any knowledge on the uh, the concept of security and networks however everyone nowadays are might have gone through the uh, the basic understanding of the operating systems computer networks and programming that much enough uh, knowledge is required uh, for learning this particular course so that means uh, i will try to Uh, give the basic concepts then the topics or the discussion will be raised to the higher level and apart from all these things uh, first of all the learner must have the motivation to learn and practice the concepts that i will discuss in this course the course objectives are like this to explain the functionalities and the classification of uh, intrusion detection and prevention systems illustrate uh, the security attacks on the tcp ip protocol stack with counter measures plan and build attack detection scripts by applying various network monitoring and intrusion detection tools monitor and evaluate audit logs and to set the administrative alerts in the operating system such as windows and linux at the same time auditing of the logs and setting up the administrative alerts on various intrusion detection tools especially not ids plan and build intelligent attack detection methods it means the security that is the detection methods that what we use for the general intrusion detection systems may not be sufficient to detect some specialized attacks so hence it is mandatory or it is a compulsion for the security administrators to plan and build some intelligent attack detection methods which will uh, which will uh, usually uh, detect the attacks even though they are hidden in the traffic so that for that uh, we are especially using this uh, intelligent attack detection methods so these are the course objectives so it will introduce the concepts of uh, intrusion detection and prevention from there the level of the course will go up to building of our own intelligent attack detection methods for identification of the uh, hidden attacks or hidden pattern of attacks in the ongoing network traffic the course content contents that we will discuss in this uh, course are 
first of all i will try to introduce first i will motivate what is the need of this ids and ips in our computers and networks especially in the internet systems and what are the different types of ids tools to uh, complement this uh, intrusion detection systems what are the different idps products and features and in what way or in how many ways this ids will be deployed and uh, what are the other security zones that can be maintained in any computer networks uh, and uh, maybe in any organization such as demilitarized zones how these demilitarized zones are constructed what are the strengths and limitations of this idps then first of all before moving on to the next thing first of all we should know what are the computer attacks vulnerabilities and what are the countermeasures for them so we are going to uh, see the overview of the tcp ip protocol stack data link layer protocol especially in this uh, most commonly performing attack such as arp spoofing next network layer protocols like uh, ipv4 ipv6 uh, icmp protocols and what are the various possible attacks on these at icmp ipv6 and ipv4 and next is transport layer protocol tcp and udp attacks application layer protocols uh, such as dns attacks microsoft protocols smtp and http and tls based attacks and especially the attacks commonly detected by the intrusion detection system will be discussed once we do this obviously the whatever the software that you use at the uh, at the at the server level or at the organization level they always uh, main they will always focus on uh, what is the traffic going on the network so how can we visualize that traffic that traffic can be visualized with the help of any sniffing tools such as tcp dump or wireshark so we are going to discuss the network monitoring and analysis after we understand the computer networks uh, attacks vulnerabilities and countermeasures we'll move on to the network monitoring and analysis in this uh, understanding of wireshark traces and statistics finding contents in the packet composition of filters writing bpf filters so which are berkeley packet filters identifying traffic of uh, interest that means which traffic we are tra targeting either we are targeting the ipv4 traffic or arp traffic or tcp or udp dns traffic or as mail traffic or http or tls traffic that what we have discussed or that what we have seen in the previous section so how to identify the traffic and analyzing the large pcap files basically in the servers such as electronic commerce servers large traffic will come into the huge traffic will come into the systems so whenever you try to capture the traffic for at least one hour the size of the capture or the size of the uh, traffic will be at most at most more than 5 gb 10 gb sometimes it's it's a very huge so how to how to analyze such large traffic so next is a real world analysis we are going to do uh, that is uh, what are the different command line tools that we can use for inspecting these traffic uh, packet uh, that is packet captures and inspecting the windows and log, linux logs every operating system will maintain a log of activities that was happened uh, with the system so we are going to see how to inspect the logs windows and linux logs next uh, we are going to see the understanding of the uh, after and uh, after looking at the logs and how can we go for auditing of these logs because auditing will give you the uh, drawbacks or loopholes uh, in the system so how to perform the linux and windows auditing next one is uh, we are going to see the understanding of file integrity and uh, understanding of endpoint protection data loss prevention windows defender mic and uh, how the windows defender will work uh, and how to configure the windows defender for maintaining uh, good security at our system application protection how to defend about the spyware 
about uh, uh, from the spyware browser protection and alerts so all these uh, we are going to see uh, in the third part and in the fourth part we mainly focus on the intrusion detection prevention tools such as signature versus behavior based tools understanding the tripwire configuration which is an intrusion detection system and a prevention system we are going to see the firewalls like ip tables for the linux it's not ids especially uh, this is a uh, host and network level uh, intrusion detection system which can, how to run this particular snort how to configure this snort uh, and how to write rules in the snort next is zeek tool which is a which is a also a kind of idp is uh, we are going to see how to install this zeek tool and how to configure this next uh, practical threats analysis and how to script the zeek tool like how will how we have seen the ruling of uh, as that is uh, configuring of the rules uh, in the snort like that here also zeek in the zeek we are having the scripting next is osec uh, that is host based intrusion detection system uh, tools we are going to see next is introduction to the uh, tools such as uh, uh, omni uh, on master and uh, supta and uh, shaiman these are which are uh, the uh, the host based uh, intrusion detection systems so these are the general signature and behavior based uh, intrusion detection systems that we are going to see uh, in which we are going to see one or two tools in deep in the fourth part and in the finally in the fifth part we are going to see the intrusion to uh, introduction to the intelligent intrusion detection systems like how to construct and uh, how to uh, build the intelligent systems so that uh, uh, on the on the fly the attacks can be detected with high accuracy so for this uh, we are going to see how to extract patterns from the uh, the uh, wireless traces or uh, network traces and from, from with the network traces uh, and packet captures we are going to capture the or we are going to extract the uh, features with this features uh, we are going to apply uh, the data mining and machine learning methods uh, for detecting the intrusions and at the same time we are going to see how to extract the features how to summarize the features for for uh, identifying or for detecting uh, the exact uh, uh, exact security attacks uh, that we are targeting from the large pool of uh, uh, network traffic so this is what the intelligent uh, intrusion detection system that we are going to see in the part 5 so this is the overall these are the overall contents of this course uh, for this uh, we don't need to have any prerequisite but you should have a knowledge of basic knowledge of the operating system computer networks uh, and uh, a little bit programming skill that you require to understand and uh, practice and build your uh, intrusion detection systems at your end so for this uh, i am going to refer various textbooks uh, uh, references uh, online materials uh, and uh, many other uh, online courses uh, because uh, uh, With, we, within a standard within one book uh, you will not find uh, all the security features uh, that can guard the entire organization so wherever good is there we have to extract the uh, key points from that places and uh, we are supposed to present it or we are supposed to understand them so that is the reason with this intention uh, w- there is no one fixed book or one fixed reference is there however wherever i uh, wherever i refer a a figure or a material uh, that i will provide from where i have referred this so that you can also go to that and uh, refer that so this is the way i have planned this course so hope you will uh, you will better uh, uh, learn this course and you can implement in your real life